I got a lot of boost, don't I? Hey, let's get into whether you should be getting some rubber sole wading boots or some felt sole wading boots. So it's winter, I'm in Michigan and it's snowy. What did I do? Kind of a silly thing. I went out and uh, I wore one of each just to see how things would go. I was testing out a new rod, a new reel, and I thought, you know what, let's play with some wading boots at the same time. So I'll tell you straight up, winter time, I would pick a rubber soled wading boot. That would be the only time though. If you don't fish in the winter, do not get rubber sole wading boots. It makes no sense. If you're mostly a fair weather fisherman, go with a felt bottom. If you need even more stick than felt, get some studs. But other than winter time fly fishing in a river in the snow, that's the only time I'd recommend going with a rubber sole wading boot. But let's go through some pros and cons of each. So rubber, winter with the snow, rubber soles are better. I'd also say if you're gonna be hiking in a, a lot of clay, might be a good option. Clay will gather up on the felt a little bit more than on the rubber sole. A little bit easier to kick it off as well, rub it off on those rocks. The weight, they are some some little tiny amount of difference in weight. So I've got both rubber and felt soled fly weight wading boots. The rubber soles are actually like 0.4 ounces. So we're talking about just <laughs> such a tiny difference. You're not gonna know the difference between a felt sole and a rubber sole wading boot. Durability, yep, I'll give just a little bit of an edge to a rubber sole. I've worn felt soles for years and years. I, I wear them out about the same length of time. I've, I, you know, I wade in some pretty aggressive places all over the country and the things that end up failing for me usually aren't the soles. It's usually, you know, the, the sides of the boots, right? The, the other parts of the boot that will fail for me, not the soles. So these things have been through a lot. These soles are still doing okay, right? You don't see it. So as long as you're not dragging your feet, felt soles are gonna last. Where the cons, they just don't have the traction. We talked about that felt sole is gonna have better traction when it comes to walking in slippery rivers, walking on moss covered rocks. If you need something more, add those studs. All rubber soles aren't the same either. That's a, another con. And if you get into the top ranges where they're actually touting the rubber to be as soft as felt or stick as well as felt, you're not gonna get the wear. Okay, pros and cons of felt, right? The pros, obviously, better traction. Cons, they are banned in some places. I, I get it. Invasive species are a real thing, but, so we're gonna protect the environment with a rubber sole, but then we're gonna put laces, then we're gonna put all these crevices that invasive species can get into on the top. You know, it's the whole boot that can transfer. It's your waders, it's the boat you're in, it's those wading staffs, all that stuff that's touching the water that's gonna transfer the, those invasive species. I'm not saying we shouldn't be conscious of it, for sure. Clean these up. In fact, if you want, I can do a video let me know in the comments in fact if you want me to do a video on how to clean them this boot right here three years old it's looking in good shape i'll tell you how i clean it it has been on the water a lot felt sole wading boots are going to be better other than when there's snow on the ground go with a felt sole it's just going to be safer in the water you can add studs to it the same way you can add studs to a rubber sole felt sole is going to stick better so if you fish mostly nice weather Without snow, get felt sole. Down in the description, I've got the sign up for my Fishy Friday newsletter. I send it out every Friday, talks about what's happening around the country, conservation things. We'll spotlight memorable fish that you might catch and get to show your fish off to 10,000 subscribers of my newsletter. And I share what's going on with me, right? Rivers I'm fishing, techniques I'm using, gear that I'm playing with. So sign up, it's free. I appreciate it. Thanks.